Hi, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're going to talk about another update that Microsoft released in Microsoft Power Apps Canvas. And that's about icons being now available inside of buttons. Before this update, we used to grab like Unicode and place that into the text field or the name of the button so that we can have like a simple icon next to the name of the button, making it a little bit more intuitive for the users. But now we have a selection or a large selection of icons that we can select from and then place them uh, inside of our modern control buttons that are now available in Canvas apps. If you want to learn how to do it, make sure that you watch the video till the end. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have fun. Okay, so we are here in the Canvas Apps Editor and what I'm going to do or what you need to do first is to go here in the three dots and activate in the settings, in the section updates, the modern controls and themes. Otherwise, you will not have that modern control button, which we need for uh, using or for to show that we can now place icons as well. And if you go over the insert uh, dropdown, you can select the button. And this looks like uh, very familiar, right? But what we have now here on the right hand side of the properties is that we have here under the text property, the section icon. So now there's no icon available there. So if we select this dropdown, we'll see here that we have a bunch of icons available now to be used inside of the button. So if I select this airplane here, you will see that it's replaced the airplane before the button. So let me zoom in, we'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see it better. And um, you can change here some of the properties. So let me move myself a little bit to the other side of the screen so that you can see those properties better. And we have here the icon before or the layout. So the icon is before the text. We can place the icon after the text. Uh, we can only have text. So that will be the same as uh, removing from here. Or we can have only the icon. So you can just leave an icon there for your uh, users to see. Uh, this could make sense, for, for example, in a, in a save button. Accessible label, we do have the options here. Visible or not, these are some uh, already known uh, properties here, the display mode, size and position. So let's go back to that uh, icon and having that after the button. It's because I want to show you here that when you start playing around with these options, this will change not only the text, but also the icon. So the vertical align, if we move this to bottom or middle, this will remove or this will move the icon and the text together. So it's not like separate and you cannot control the icon without the button. But what you can do is you can rotate that icon and if you want it to uh, show like uh, going in the other direction or so on. So you can do that by using uh, this icon rotation property here. As for the position, the size and the padding, that has to do with the button here and the text as well. Uh, we have here the style and theme, so the type is primary, secondary, so it changes like the layout of this button. Uh, but with the airplane, so with the icon as well. The icon style can also be changed here, it's either outlined or filled. I like the filled ones because it looks more modern uh, in my opinion, but um, yeah, it's up to you. So the color palette, if you click here, you can change some of the colors, but this will change the color of the whole button. All right, so you can move this here as well. Um, what else will you have? We have here uh, some other features, so minimize it. So the font, it will change the font of the text, but the font size, if I click here and make this 20, it will change not only the font size, but also the size of the airplane. So keep that in mind. It says font size, but it will also change the icon size. And as of the font color, this will change the color of the airplane as well. So I wish that was uh, separated in this case. No, I don't know why they left this together because they have placed some icon um, controls. So, Maybe the, the, that's something that's going to come with an update later on. Uh, maybe the icon is too small and the text is perfect, so you would like the icon to be a little bigger. That's something that you cannot control, unfortunately. Yeah, and as of the rest of the properties here, those have been around for uh, a while now, so there's nothing new there. And um, yeah, as, as of this uh, update, we have here now the icons. And what uh, you can do is, or what you cannot do, unfortunately, is use like 
other icons except of the ones that are listed here. Because um, I wish Microsoft would have opened this um, icon property here for the whole Fluid UI icons that are out there. So if you go here that uh, at Flycon uh, or Flicon, I don't know how it's spelled, that IO you have like a, I don't know how many, a bunch of, uh, yeah, almost 2000 icons. So you have here a lot and um, yeah, I wish they would have opened this for the whole icons so that you can grab like the name of this uh, um, icons and then use them in the icon section, right? In the icon property. So for example, here, airplane solid. If I copy that and I go into this icon property and that's not going to find anything. So if I write airplane, it will find it. Let's try something else. Uh, the add icon, for example. And uh, we have the add icon. Yes, we have the add icon. It will show here. So yeah, if I grab the action center here, let's see, is that something? No, we don't have it. So if you don't have it, you will get this circle, right? So yeah, it doesn't make any sense now to grab them from Fluent UI. Um, you, you, you have to, to use one of these that have been um, prepared here from Microsoft. So yeah, I think the update is very nice and welcomed. Uh, this will make the buttons a bit more intuitive, maybe friendly, uh, user friendly, and uh, a little bit more fun to use. So let me know what you think in the comments, if you have any other ideas, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments as well. And yeah, if you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any further uh, updates and videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.